Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Mystic Destinies. Oh my god, we are back again in, uh, in Hikaru's book one, Shattered, and the last time we started it. So let me just try to recall what the hell happened in the shortest, you know, amount of time and, you know, short exposition as I can. Anyways, okay, so we started off in Hikaru's out. We were back in the beginning, and instead of choosing any of the guys that we romanced already, we, we decided to choose Hikaru as our tutor, or our mentor, or you know, the person who was supposed to teach us about using magic and controlling it. So he was really, really super hesitant at first, but then eventually he kind of like, you know, gave in. But then we felt super bad about it because as he drove us home, and then when he would drop us off, we were like, hey, I'm sorry if you know we put you on the spot like that. And if you don't want to do it, then you know I'll just choose somebody else, you know, the, tomorrow or some shit like that. But he was like, no, it's okay. Like I'm, I'm a teacher. I should do this because you know I, I have experience. So there was that. Except during that time as well. Uh, Hikaru kept, you know, kind of having those moments where it's like he kind of thinks that we're, he reminds, uh, yeah, we remind him of somebody we, he used to know when he had those episodes and shit like that. And we're just kind of like weirded out by it, but then he was like, oh, forget it, just ignore that. So, yeah, so we basically, you know, he switches cl our classes so that, you know, we have him as teachers for both the magical stuff and the non magical stuff. So, we were trying to plan out how to go about doing this whole the schedule thing of getting training and getting lessons from him and he's really packing it in he's like yeah we're gonna have to meet like five times a week or some shit like that and you know I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna have any more social life because I gotta do this and you know you're gonna have to you know bear with it as well so that's that's the plan so we've been uh, we've been uh, yeah getting lessons from him for about a month and Hannah was just saying how you know it's super like business relationship with uh, with him and us and we feel like we haven't even progressed past that and there's like a wall between them anyways regardless there was one weekend where he where Hikaru invites us over to his place to do lessons because the uh, the, the, the lecture hall or the school was closing for an event that day so but we need to get in the lesson so so that's why he invited us over he we were working on making an air clone but then as Hana was making it something happened her powers went out of control and she, you know he kind of had to step in he was super angry at us and then as he was scolding us we, we started to cry because you know all that stress kind of built up because you know Tana had no time to be socialized and shit like that. But anyways, he apologized and then afterwards he had a moment where again he was like, You seem like her, but you're not her. Is it possible? Kind of thing. We were we have no idea what he's talking about. But anyways, we were like, Okay, you know, Hikaru, I don't know what you're talking about and you're really confused and he's like, Yeah, that's right and he kind of snapped out of it. And then we were kinda of chilling and then all of a sudden this crazy lady crazy lady I forgot who her name I think her name was Suneko I don't know how Hannah knew it but like anyways crazy lady shows up in his apartment we have no idea who she is she's a complete psychopath she's probably high on something she's accusing us of being the sorcerer she's a cover we're not we only look like her because we're a clone copy of her basically and she started doing some mumble jumbo magic on us and on Hikaru Hikaru tried to take the blow for us but he ended up just losing his soul and then she sent us off into this void of nothingness in between worlds and you know we didn't really appreciate that because she couldn't kill us anyway so she's like oh you're immortal so I'll just put you in this space along with Hikaru Hikaru's dead body so hopefully and then this is where we are we, we thought we drifted for a while we drifted for a long time until we eventually just kind of lost it and then we opened our eyes and then yeah we I had a game over screen but then you know, somebody from some omnipresent person was like, Hey, you got a bad ending there, I see. And we're like, yeah, sure. And now we're here. This is where this is the screen where we came up. And um, I'm pretty sure I should have included this as part of this. The, I'm pretty sure it's just a little tidbit of bad of a, the bad ending I got. But um, anyways, I, was, I didn't realize my time. But uh, I think either way, we're going to have to deal with it. And I'm pretty sure it's a bad ending. I think it's a bad ending. And we can just, you know, restart from from after finding out what this is. So yeah, so I'm alive. What the hell's going on? With shaking hands, I reach out and gently touch my face. Solid, I feel solid and whole. But how? Yeah, how? I, wait, is that, am I hearing things? I look around the vast, bright, empty space. It feels different from where I was before. Even though I see nothing around me, I feel like I'm standing firmly on my feet, no longer floating helplessly. Before I can investigate my new path, and before I can investigate my new predicament any further, I realize that I can't ignore the music playing from somewhere. Yes, this is- are we in a club? 
Like, have we un unexpectedly stumbled into, like, you know, secret, you know, in between world, the no void of nothing club? Yeah? It's, it's bumping. It's hot. It's lit. Why is there dance music? Right? It seems that I've gone. It seems that I've gone from one strange situation to a stranger one, but I don't yet know if this one is any more dangerous than the last. Seriously, what the hell is going on? What is this place? What the hell is this music? This is insane. What is this place? I'm confused. What is this place? It better be a really lit club because I would. I wouldn't mind this. I. I don't mind this. I look around, but there's nothing to give me even the slightest hint of where I might be. I sigh and turn around. Are you? Are you? You look like Galen, but you're not Galen. I don't think you're Galen. So I scream and stumble back as I do when I'm met with a terrifying looking man? Question mark before me. I think it's a man. I'm pretty sure it's a man. I mean, look at look at that chest cleavage right here. Uh, I. I fall to the ground and back away from him. Uh, he stares down at me with glowing green eyes, and I find that I'm completely petrified. The man's aura is so heavy, so oppressive, that I feel like I'm being squashed under an immense weight. My whole body shakes uncontrollably. Whoa, who, who are you? Yeah, who, who, are you the owner of this club? I am the one who pulled you back into existence. Oh, that's great! But you may, but you may call me Galen. <gasps> You're Galen? What the fuck? <laughs> Galen! What? what are you doing here? How are you here? He blinks and the glow fades, the heavy oppressive feeling around him subsides and I gasp for air, finally able to breathe. There, that should be better. Yeah, you just yeah, dim down your light. I take a deep breath and with, a sh and with shaky legs, I stand up. My heart pounds in my throat, but I manage to stand already. I, man I manage to stand steady. I can do this, this is fine, I can do this. This random person seems far less crazy than that woman, so that's a good sign. Oh right, she hasn't met Galen yet at all in Hikaru's story, right? I think. I hope- Nah, he's fine. He's a little aloof, but he's fine. There's a million questions running through my mind, but before I even open my mouth to ask any, I... This music, where is it coming from? <laughs> I mean, I dig it. I try to think of what to say, what to ask. The thought to simply run comes to mind, but... The strange music he's playing, uh, completely out of place with what's going on. I can't concentrate, it's hard to take anything seriously like this. Yes, the music is a little inappropriate, isn't it? Yeah, it is! How about this one? <gasps> he snaps his fingers again. This is- is this like a fourth wall break here? What is this? Uh, or this one. Uh, I, um... This is so weird. Am I sure I'm not actually dead? You are very much alive. Did he just? Yes. I'm sorry. This music, I can't concentrate. Can you change it? Very well. Pick something. Okay, let me see your track list. Ooh, serious music as is, as is appropriate. Battle music because why not? Happy music because yay. Sad music because Hikaru, never mind. Keep this. You pick. Sad music because Hikaru. There, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. He taps his chin. Ahem, a change in scenery is in order. Oh my. Before I can say anything, he snaps his fingers and... Why are we a blue sky? What? A cafe. We stand in the middle of an empty... An empty cafe, one that feels strangely familiar. Have I been here before? Yes, you have. I hear him snap his fingers behind me. Oh! Everything around us changes in a blink of an eye once more. I stare at the beautiful sparkling lake lit by the rising sun. The feeling of familiarity follows me even here, yet I'm certain I've never been here before. Is he taking us through every route we've been through? So like this, of course, this is where we, we were talking to Shinji. We had our moment. And before his blue sky with Tatsuya, where are we going to go next? It's so beautiful here. Are we going to go to the sky temple like in Shou's route? I close my eyes and enjoy the gentle breeze tickling my skin. I thought I'd never feel anything like this again, if I if he hadn't pulled me out. I turn around to face Galen, but as I do, he snaps his fingers again without comment. Oh hey! We I was right! Hey. Our surroundings change once more and I can't help but gasp. What is this place? Even as I ask this, I feel like I've been here before, that I've seen these statues in that fountain. I feel like there should be someone here. Yes, show. 
It's an a- it's an ancient phoenix temple built on a floating garden out flo- built on a floating garden island. Yes, a floating garden island. Yes, yes. Go outside if you'd like to see. And so we do. He gestures towards the door, and I can't pretend like I'm not curious. I walk towards the door with Galen following me, following behind me. Oh, oh, we're on the roof, the city rooftop because this is the Takumi's tower. Oh God! As I walk out, I gasp for what feels like the hundredth time today. What? But I turn around and see that the door we walked out of is gone. I thought you said we were on a floating garden island. Galen chuckles. Uh, we were, and now we're not. But I wanted to see the floating islands. I fall silent, looking out over the shimmering skyline. Even this, it feels familiar because we've been here before. As you know, when we were romancing Takumi, all of these places, all these places have. But I don't remember being in any of them. So why? Uh, I turn back to face Galen. All these places you've shown me, I feel like they are familiar somehow. But I know I've never been to any of them. Oh, but you have, girl. That's the plot twist. I doubt you had no reason for doing this. So why? Why take me? It can't be that you're just showing off. You are correct. I'm not doing this to show off. The w- the why is simple. You've been to all these places before, right? I have. Yes, you have. Yes, but first we should go to our last destination this time. Galen snaps his fingers again. Oh, this was not what I expected. Welcome to my realm. You're the first being. You're the first living being to enter in a very long time. What? Hey, he he has white streaks in his hair, and I have white streaks in my hair too. Hey, are you, are you like an ancient sorcerer? Is that it? Is that what you are, Galen? Like I looked from the crumb, like the the ones that you know Hikari was explaining how like long ago were sorcerers of you know the chaos, the god of chaos powers. You know they live for a very long time, but now there's almost none left because they all been killed or some shit. So I looked from the crumbling castle. I look from the crumbling coliseum walls to the endless sky to the floating objects in the distance. This place. I force myself to focus on Galen. This might sound strange, but everything about this is strange. So I think you'll get it. You seem familiar somehow, but I would definitely remember meeting someone like you. You're not exactly easy to miss. And my previous question, all those places, they felt familiar too. So I want to know what the hell is going on? Why do I feel like you and all those things are somehow familiar? Because you've all met them before, or you've experienced them before. Have we met before? Yes, you have. We have met, and we haven't. Oh my god, none of、oh, this freaking like, you know, sorcery and like mystery shit.、It's、like we have, but we haven't. You did, but you didn't. In this timeline, we haven't had the chance to meet before. In others, we met sooner or later. Yes, I was right. Timelines, yeah, this is what we're familiar with. The air around him shifts, and he instantly looks different, human. In other timelines, you knew me in this form. Yeah, sometimes looking like this. Timelines, yes, all the times, yes. Ha ha ha! He waves his hand, and four windows open in the air. This is trippy. I'll admit, this is really trippy. I didn't think that you know our routes would connect like the way it did with Nameless. So in each of the windows, a scene plays with me and a different person. Me with Sho, me with Tatsuya, me with Shinji, me with Takumi. Yes. What? Seeing myself like that, it's bizarre. But none of the scenes before me feel wrong. Why am I with them? Because you were in love with them at some point. I tear myself away from the window and turn to Galen, who waves them away in an instant. You exist in many different timelines, and in each year of your life, the and in each of your Eh. And in each one of your life and the lives of others are different in one way or another. Oh wow! Multiple me's! Oh my god! And alternate universes is. <laughs> in these particular timelines, your life splits into different directions after you choose a different partner. Yes. Really, I can't really imagine choosing anyone else, but I had wondered how my life would change if I did. There are others, of course. Ones where you're never born. Ones where you go to a different school in an entirely different country. And ones where you don't receive any powers at all, living out a normal life, unaware of the existence of magic. Wow, there are more variations and alternate and alternate timelines that you could possibly comprehend. Then you could possibly comprehend. Yes, I figured. But you only need to know about a few of them. I frown. But what are you? How can you do all this? Right? How do you know so much? 
You say it's your realm, but what is this place? I have many titles, one as you know is Galen, a name given to me recently by a friend. But for brev for but for brev brevity's sake, I am the god of chaos. What? 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 You? 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 All along, it was you. you oh wow. Okay. 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 Shit. Oh my god. I can see the different timelines, even travel between them. Yes. While everyone else gets to live their lives out in different variations and versions, I am outside everything. There is only one life for me, one never-ending existence. And this is my realm, my home, although most known it as the Forbidden Realm now. Yes, where like, you know, sorcerers, you know, go, remember? Then can you bring me back to my realm or whatever? I'm not sure what it is to- I'm not sure what it is to you exactly, but, but to place- but to the place I'm from. And Hikaru, yes, is he dead? You brought me back, so you can bring him back too, right? Uh, I don't know about that, girl. That crazy woman tossed us both into the nothingness. His body was in there with me, although I lost track of him. I can't give you what you want, not exactly. Why not? You're clearly powerful enough to- Nope. He can't raise the dead, girl. My power is that of chaos, interfering directly on that scale. It cannot happen without messing things up, to put it simply. Yes. That is the number one rule in time traveling and visiting alternate universes. And that crazy woman is a powerful goddess named Suneka. Yes. So that's her name. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a typo when Hana was like, What does Suneka want? Because, you know, before that she wasn't supposed to know her name. Uh, knowing the name of the enemy hardly makes anything better, but it is reassuring now I have a name to her face. A powerful goddess. I can't say I imagined any being like her in terms of appearance or actions. So why? Why did she do all that? That's something you would have to ask her yourself. Ugh, but I had- do I have to? What- what I can tell you is that she has a grudge against Hikaru. Yeah, no shit. But I'm sure that was made obvious enough to you before. Yes. I nod. And now he's... uh, gone. I lost track of his body completely. Is he still out there? Or did that- or did the nothing take him too? So what now? Do I just live here or what? What are you going to do with me? I'm giving you a choice. Oh, okay. Oh! Galen snaps his fingers, and as he does, Hikaru's body appears, peacefully hanging in the air. Huh! Ha! Huh. I take a step forward, then stop. Although he's been gone for a long time, I still feel emotional as- I still feel emotional at seeing his body then that I thought I'd lost. Taking a deep breath, I walk right up to him. What did you do that made Sunika angry enough to come after you, at us like that? I want to ask him that question myself, but... Oh right, because Seneca was like, she insinuated the fact that she had a thing with Shizuka in the past. So it's like, what? That's like the only reason why she hates us so much is like, she thinks we're a whore. <laughs> but we're, she thinks Shizuka, like an us, is a whore, yes. Yeah, I want to ask him that question myself, but... Uh, I forced myself to look away from Hikaru back to Galen. Uh, you, said you're f you said you're giving me a choice. Yes, Hiki here happens to still be alive for now. Really? Wow. Alive? He's really still alive. I bite my lip, desperately holding my holding in my reactions. I will keep his body here with me, so he'll be safe. And you? You have a choice. There is a way to save him, but it is up to you. Oh, no. When Suneka ripped Hikaru's soul apart, she didn't destroy it. Oh, so I'm pretty sure she just scattered it? Is that it? Do I have to go to my alternate universes and try to find them? The pieces scattered, attaching to the closest familiar things that they could not. Oh, the pieces scattered, attaching to the closest familiar things that they could find. And those things happen to be Hikaru himself within the closest timeline to your own. Timelines to your own. Whoa, you have to find him again through the other timelines. Whoa, I was right, but that's still really trippy. In order to reach the soul fragments and retrieve them, you will have to get to know him. Okay, well, figures. As you do, you will be able to gain the soul pieces and collect them before they extinguish. So if I can collect them all, I can bring him back. I gotta collect them all, gotta catch them all. Pokemon! Yes. But how does getting to know Hikaru in different timelines help me get his soul frag help me get his soul fragments? He glances at Hikaru. 
By getting closer, you will become a magnet of sorts, and given the right circumstances, you will be able to draw the soul fragments out of you. Oh! Out to you! Out to you! Ah, okay. Uh, he won't want to give them to you, and they won't want to go with you if he doesn't trust you. Ah, uh, makes sense. He snaps his fingers and a small black star-speckled box appears before me, and I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to put them in this box. I react just fast enough to catch it in time. Please warn, please warn me next time. Right. And now where's the fun in that? Oh my gosh. You can summon this box once you've collected a soul fragment. I trust your magical knowledge to in advance. I trust your magical knowledge is advanced enough for that. Hopefully. It will keep the fragment safe until you come back here and transfer it back into Hikaru's body. Okay. He does, however, need one as soon as possible. I can keep him suspended for a short time, but without a soul fragment, he will expire. Oh no. So I do have to urge you to begin now. Yes, right away. Now? Yes, you have no choice, Hana. Yes, although this is where your choice comes in. What? My magic in this ma my magic in this chance I'm giving you is not without consequence. Of course not. It's always been like that with you, uh, with you, Galen. In each cosmos you enter, anything you can do, anything you do can and will change things for that timeline. Oh shit! Yeah, okay, that's the uh, yeah. Uh, are you prepared to do whatever it takes, even if it means destroying the order in other timelines? Oh man, I am. I'll do whatever it takes. No, I can't do that. Well, I have no fucking choice. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, I am. I'll do whatever it takes. Like, it doesn't matter now because we've already done the rest of the other guys' routes and I've, I've made my peace with them. I can't just let him disappear out of existence like that. It's selfish, I know. I know it is, but... Gallon chuckles. Very well then. One more thing before you go, getting to know you will help anchor Hikaru's soul more, so the more you interact with him, the less he disappears. Okay, what, why? Uh, time is running out, choose you, Choose where you will go first. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I'm pretty sure, okay, let's start from the beginning, where we go from Sho to Tatsuya to Shinji to Takumi. Okay, let's do that. Cosmos of the Phoenix. Oh, never mind, I changed my mind. What? What do you mean? If you clicked on the cosmos where you chose the phoenix, you'll be happy. If not, then oh well. Wait, if you clicked on the cosmos where you chose the phoenix, you'll be happy. If not, then oh well. I but I did. You're going to the cosmos. Of the, you're going to the cosmos of the phoenix first. Oh, so he's just saying my choice wouldn't matter. But like, anyways, I logically made it. So like, either way, I'm like, I did the right thing. So huh? Uh, wait. You can't just. Well, too bad. Have fun. Okay. Bye. Oh my God. It's my first day working at the Veretta's cop at the Veretta's coffee house. Where are we? It is. I'm completely nervous. Um. Oh my God. She's like her monologue is different from her thoughts. She's like I already experienced this once, girl. But she's just like, oh, it's my first day of work. Um. It's kind of hard to be nervous when my new boss, Gallen, as he insists being called, is so completely relaxed and down to earth. And weird, not only do I get a strange feeling about him, but he just acts strange. Because he is the god of chaos. Did you just say Gallon? Yes. I... what? I stand next to him, sweeping up some coffee grinds, trying not to stare as he stacks the coffee mugs in a seemingly impossible way. Uh, he then looks at me, us, with a knowing smile. Yes, because we met before. I, I was just talking to you. God of chaos. The other me's voice in my head begins to grow distant. No. What does he know? Who are you? I'm you. A different you. Um, I gotta borrow this body for a while, so just go to sleep or something. What? Uh, the confused voice fades away, and I finally feel fully in control of my body. Alright, that felt hella weird, but at least I'm in control now. No, girl, I need you. I need to be in control. I look back to Galen. No longer paying attention to me, he sings as he stacks the cups so precariously that I'm certain they'll fall. All the while, a customer, specifically a cute but very pale man in a red hoodie, whispers to him, Hey, I know you, you're Jun. Jun Okura. Galen occasionally stops singing to talk to the man. You know my rules regarding that little matter. Okay, I don't know what the man said, but at his harsh expression, I immediately remember who Galen really is. As if I could, re as if I could really forget. I end up staring at them out of the corner of my eye while they talk. There's something about the man that seems dangerous, or maybe impish, and his steel gray eyes seem to hide many secrets behind them. Well, yeah, because he's a vampire. Finally, the man glances my way and, grin and grins at me. Did I just see fangs? Yes. Hana, would you be a strawberry and make a black coffee for the customer near the window? Yes, Tatsuya can show you how. Okay. 
Galen turns back to his customer and I get the feeling he wants me to go away. Sighing, I leave the area from behind the counter and look for Tatsuya. What I really need to do is find Hikaru. Yes, you do. Galen sure as hell didn't give me any specific instructions either. Guess, I'll, guess I've got no choice but to play my role for now. Tatsuya is clearing the tables, balancing stacked dishes in one arm while wiping down the table with the other. He looks like such a pro doing it that I sigh again, feeling annoyed at having to bother him. You know what they say about sighing, yes. He continues wiping down the table while we talk. Wait, I don't have I don't have time for this small chat. I need to go where's Hikaru? Hmm, what? That your happiness will leave you? Yeah, it's pretty stupid. But I've heard it so many times, it's ingrained into me. Anyway, what did you need? Help me with the coffee machine? Yeah. Really? You can't even make coffee yet? Shut up. No, otherwise why would I be asking you? Fine, just go over there and I'll be there in just a sec. I do as I'm told and I walk and walk to the medicine to the machine. Medicine. <laughs> I do as I told and I walk to the machine. A few minutes later Tatsuya comes over to help. As he teach as he teaches me, I look back to where Galen is, I notice that his customer is gone. He seems to be staring at nothing in deep thought, and I wonder if I should approach him for help. Uh, hey, are you even paying attention? Watch out! Uh, I look back down to what I'm doing and see that I've, I've almost overfilled the coffee cup. Tate reaches over to me to turn it off. His hand brushes against one of my softer areas when he does so. Sorry, that, that was an accident. But would you please pay attention? Yes, this machine can be extremely dangerous if you don't use it right. It's just a coffee machine, but yeah, you can get third degree burn from it. One that makes very hot drinks that I don't want to get burned by. Tatsuya glances at the bandage on my hand, but it looks as though you've already had your fair share of getting burned. I look down at I look down as well at the bandage. Oh, it's it. What the hell? What have I been doing? What ha what have I been up to to get burned? Is it after the incident with the Dark Phoenix encounter? Uh, everything all right over there? Yes, Galen. Yes, sir. Piff, I told you not. I told you to knock it off with the sir stuff. Anyway, I'll be in my office. Try not to need me, but I'll be there if you do. Okay, like that doesn't sound weird. Okay, Galen saunters from behind the bar into the back room. Should I just leave to go find Hikaru, I wonder? But I wouldn't even know where he is in this time of day. I don't even know what day it is. At almost the exact instant, the back room door slams shut, the front door opens. There he is! Yes, he always walks in on the Thursday, right? I, I'm shocked to see who it is. Hik- uh, Professor Kazuma, yes. Oh yeah, the professor visits this place in the evening. A evenings a lot here. Yes, actually, there should be a woman coming in soon after him if the rumors are true. Uh, Tatia moves away to go serve the customer their coffee, leaving my question uh, questions behind. Hey there, Lee. Ah uh, yeah, I was supposed to talk to him about our problems with Joe. Yes, I didn't know you'd start working here. Yes, I can't seem to answer properly. Seeing him in there, seeing him in there in front of me after seeing his cold, lifeless body. It takes everything I have not to cry. My heart pounding, uh, I manage an awkward smile. Okay, so we are in control. Like the the me that has spoken to Galen and has discovered that he is the god of chaos. I I realize I don't really know what it is I should be doing now that I found him. T Today is my first day, actually. Oh well, good luck. You look nice in your uniform. Well, thank you. A compliment? A compliment? Who is this Hikaru? Maybe he's different than mine. I don't know. So I somehow managed to keep the smile plastered on my face. Thank you. Uh, the front door opens and another customer comes in. This time, it's a tall, gorgeous woman with dark red hair. She's so trendy and well made up that I wonder if she's a supermodel as she takes a seat next to Hikaru. Oh, could this be the woman that Tatsuya was talking about? I wonder if it's the professor's girlfriend. They'd look really nice. They'd look really good together. The thought suddenly irritates me because you're supposed to be in love with him. That he might be working. That he might been working me to death with homework and studying and studying while going out with his model girlfriend. Lin gives me an expectant, an expectant look, but I'm too distracted to really understand. How do we know Lin, Lin's her name? Her dangling earrings move with her as she cocks her head to the side. Can I order, please? A coffee would be delightful. Yeah, sure, bitch. Uh, hey, Lin, how are you? Uh, I'm doing quite well this evening, and you? Uh, I moved to get the coffee, feeling entirely frumpy and childish in front of two such beautiful adult people. Arg, all of this be damn. I'm just here to get his soul fragment, though I don't know how the hell to even do that. Right. And how am I supposed to get close to him with his girlfriend here? Uh, thoroughly annoyed with the course of events, I turn back around instead. Professor, can I speak with you alone? Yes. Lin laughs, making us turn to her. She leans in and props herself up on the counter with her elbow. 
She looks right at me, her green eyes sparkling with amusement. Oh, you're going to have to try harder than that. I'll help. What? Galen's voice rings through my through my mind. Oh, hey, Galen. Hi. Thanks. What? I glance back at his office door. I glance back at his office door, but it remains tightly shut. I'm not hearing things now, am I? No, he's a god. He's powerful. He can do that. So the air around Lin shimmers and shifts. Piece by piece, her image breaks away, revealing the smiling, the smiling Galen in his human form. What? <laughs> this is so confusing. Galen, what the hell? He kind of shoots up from his seat. What the fuck, Galen? <laughs> You've been catfished. Wait, so he knows Galen? Yes, of course he does. What the hell is this? Uh, I was curious how long it would take you to notice it's me. He kind of takes a deep breath before speaking. You know what? Fuck you, Galen. I'll deal with you later. Uh, with that, he kind of storms out of the place, slamming the front door behind him as he leaves. Galen, I don't think that helped. <laughs> the loop of time is now broken. Run after him. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> His words break me out of my stupor. I dart past the stunned looking Tatsuya and run out the door. Sorry, I'll explain later. Oh god, where are you? Professor! Professor Kazuma! Hey, 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 hey guy. Hey, dude, dude. Hikaru, wait! I chase after Hikaru through the night crowds, yelling his name. Okay, I know you're upset that you got catfished by your friend, but l hear me out. <laughs> I see his broad back stop, he slowly turns back to me, his expression betraying nothing. I stop when I finally catch up to him. Ah, crap, I didn't think. What do I say? Right. I shake off the uncertainty and look up at him. Professor, I need to talk to you. It's about something important. Hikaru merely stares back before nodding. I can tell whatever you have to say is serious. I'm going somewhere else to drink, though. Oh, why don't you get changed and we can talk there? Oh, okay. Isn't it a bit like a date, I guess? Ugh, no. Stuff like that doesn't help. Ugh, no. Stuff like that doesn't matter right now. Uh, I clear my head not- I clear my head, nod, and nodding, going back quickly to change out of my work uniform. There we go. Okay, so oh, of course we would go here. Hikaru is apparently a man of his word. I was almost surprised to find him still waiting for me outside when I finished. We quietly walk to a classy lounge nearby. As we take a seat by the bar, I look around. I feel entirely out of place here with Hikaru's good looks and my plain outfit. The bartender comes up to us shortly after we take a seat. Give me four bottles of your strongest stuff. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. Is he serious? <laughs> that much alcohol? Is he trying to get blackout drunk? Maybe. So what is this all about? Hikaru's voice snaps me out of my thoughts, reminding me of what I'm here for. Well, in an alternate universe, you're kind of dead and your soul is scattered into scattered across different timelines, this being one of them, and I kind of need it, again, for you to actually live. But, so, uh, can you help me out? Can you help a sister out? How do I explain everything? I don't know. Tell him straight out, lead up to it. I'm a, I'll, I'll lead up to it. I will lead. I will, I will lead up to it. Now, what? Does he appreciate does he appreciate honesty like straight to the point no beating around the bush kind of thing? Maybe? I don't know. I kind of feel like he, he we need to lead him up to it because you know he wouldn't believe us otherwise, you know? Cuz you know, okay, you want lead up to it. Let's take it slowly. Do you remember Seneca? He kind of immediately narrows his eyes. How do you know about her? Right. Um, have you been stalking me? No. What? No, it's complicated. I'm listening. Okay. I'm from another timeline. I was sent here by Galen because Suneka shattered your soul and it I'm and it I'm trying to save you. Yeah, I'm, try, I'm just trying to save you. Save me? Yeah. Yes, save the other you, the Hikaru from my timeline. Right. Well it sounds like Galen tricked you. What do you mean? He messes around like this all the time, as you just saw. Nothing better to do with his time, I guess. But dude, the bartender sets down Hikaru's bottles. Hikaru immediately grabs one and chugs it straight down. Holy shit! Does he even does he even need a glass? Because glasses are for for ladies. <laughs> Professor, why did you order all of that? Because I need it tonight. Oh, Hikaru takes the bottle away from his lips for a moment. If you're done here, you can go home. No! Sorry about Galen. Like I said earlier, I'll deal with him later. What? Go home? I. I stand up quickly and slam both my hands on the bar, staring straight into Hikaru's eyes. You listen here, bitch! I saw you die, damn it! Suneka tried to kill me and you saved me and... Th that's why I have to save you. Because I owe you. Because you protected me. I'm not letting you blow me off like this. Hikaru stares at me wordlessly, seemingly too stunned to speak. That's when I feel... That's when I feel a hand on my shoulder and I see a hand appear on Hikaru's as well. Is this Galen? Galen, are you there? 
A soothing female voice comes from behind me. We should make a scene. Who? Oh, who are you? I look up and see a young woman standing there. The woman is stunningly beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, new character. Damn, who are you? Her blue eyes are so bright and clear that they draw you that they draw you in, make you want to lose yourself in them. She stands tall in her long, flowing white gown. Are you another god or a demigod or some shit? The dress doesn't the dress doesn't look out of yeah the dress doesn't look too out of place in a fancy place like this. Uh, but there's something about her that makes her immediately stand out. Uh, Hikaru looks at the woman with wide eyes. Mother. Oh, mom. Mom? <laughs> mother? This is... Whoa. How the hell can this beautiful young woman be Hikaru's mother? She looks way too young to... Wait, unless Hikaru is a demigod, so yes. Could she be a goddess? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Hikaru's mother merely smiles and sits down, and sits down on the seat in between us. I take a seat on the other side of her, still unable to get out of my shaken state. Hana, in these lands, I'm called Hikaru no Kaze. Oh, Kazuma, ha Kazuma, ah, yes. Haruka, her name is Haruka? Oh, Haruka no Kaze, okay, I was like, Hikaru no Kaze. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, but you can call me Haruka, since I already like you and everything. Oh, thank you, that's so likable. Like me? You're saving my super serious son, aren't you? So I like you. Oh, thank you. I didn't know it was that easy. Haruka turns to Hikaru and pinches his cheek. I've missed you so. Oh, I can't believe you're actually here. It's been a long time. Yeah, I would imagine. Haruka nods. I wish we could be meeting on happier terms. Does that mean, yeah, you're dead in another timeline? Hikaru looks at me around, Hi around Haruka. Is what this girl saying? Is what this girl is saying the truth? Is what this girl is saying the truth? Yes. Yeah, either way, I'm telling the truth. Yes, I came because I felt that something was terribly wrong. When I checked on you, we don't have much time, Gal. We don't have much time. Gal is helping Hana, and I'm going to assist alongside him as well. Yes! However, time is already changed here. Uh, can't you feel it, Hikaru? Something is wrong. I think that you'll need to be prepared for anything. Uh, and that Hana should quickly get out of here. What? But I need my soul, though. Haruka rises, but not before giving her son a hug. I have to go, but I'll be watching over you, as always. You have all my love, Hikaru. Okay. Thank you, mother. I feel the same. Alright. With that, he ha with that, Haruka simply disappears, seemingly completely unnoticed by the patrons of the lounge. Well, I look back at Hikaru. She said I should go quickly, but I don't know what I should do to get your soul fragment. Hikaru looks at me seriously. If what you said is true, then the fragment won't work. Then the fragment won't want to stay with me anyway. Okay, it's not meant to be with me. Uh, I should be willing to. I should be willing to willingly give it up. But if I if I feel like I can trust you, so I told I told you the truth, and you have proof of the truth. So do you trust me now? And I do. Okay, good. I can see that you sincerely want to save the other me, and my mother herself came. It's obvious things are serious. Alright, he kind of turns to me and closes his eyes. He holds out a hand to his chest and inclines his head slightly. I gasp, light seems to co light seems to coalesce between his fingers. Oh hey! Then in midair an awkward colored gem forms. It's small and clearly only a shard of some and clearly only a shard of something bigger. So that's his soul piece. Yes, it's beautiful. Like your eyes. I force myself to snap out of it and focus on summoning the box that Gallon gave me. I suddenly feel it in my hands as if I'd always been holding it. Uh, I open the box and hold it under the gem. It drops out of the air straight into the box and I immediately close the lid. Alright, one. How many are there? <laughs> Four, I guess? <laughs> I got it. I got the first soul piece. Yay! Hikaru opens his eyes and I blow and I bow my head to him. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. I don't know how I would have done it without your help. Uh, the Hikaru of that universe. He's lucky, I think. Aw, I look up at him. What do you mean? I'm not entirely sure, but I wish you luck. Okay, be careful. Chaos is the most dangerous power in the universe. Alright, so you wish me luck on trying to get with your other self. Okay, cool. Thank you. He kind of goes back to his drink and I move away from the bar. Yeah, you enjoy your drinks. I look down at the box in my hand and my breath is, and I and breathe in deeply. Maybe this won't be as hard as it sounds? Well, if it's as easy as this, then, then sure. I look around. What now, though? Should I head back to the... What now, though? Should I head back to Veretta's or what? I catch a flash of red hair in the reflection of a glass, uh, but as I turn, no one's there. 
Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> I mumble under my breath jokingly. But suddenly I feel a strange tug, like a hand on my shoulder pulling me up. Pulling me back. Oh. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Guess it worked. Upon being summoned back to the Chaos Realm, I see that Hikaru is standing next to I see that Haruka is standing next to Gallant. There we go. Hikaru Hika Hikaru Haruka same shit. You're here. Oh. Of course. Gallant is one of my most favorite and oldest friends. Aw. Well I guess if you think about it, he really is the oldest, hee <laughs> hee. Anyway, I'll be staying here to watch over you and Hikaru together with him from now on. You can call out to me at any time. Great. I'm not much of a fighter, but I will help but I will try to help guide however I can, and Hikaru and I do have a special bond that might help. Alright. Wait just a moment, I have something I have something to give you. Okay. Haruka holds out her hand and a small white light coalesces in her palm, becoming a silver earring. This is the matching earring to one of this is the matching earring to the one Hikaru wears. They both used to be mine, but I gave him the other one when he was a child. Okay. Nice. With Gallon's help, I was able to send a message to all the Hikaru across all relevant timelines. Damn, nice. It's like a, a wireless Bluetooth that transcends across universes. I explained what happened. I explained what had happened to this to this Hikaru. Haruka looked sadly over at her son's floating body and told them that a girl would be coming to gather the soul fragments of his of his that had attached itself to their soul. I told them that she would have this earring so that they so that they believe you. Okay. I take this I take the earring in my palm. Yes. It's like it's a divine item, so you should be able to summon it no matter what you no matter what world you're in. Okay. Thank you. It's really nice. Sororski. Uh thank you for trying to save my son. I hope it aids you in your quest. Yes. I nod and look at the earring gently sparkling in my hand. Yes, I hope so too. I look to Galen, who immediately smiles at me as if he already knows what I'm about to say. It's time for you to collect the other remaining fragments from the Hikaru who cho from the Hikaru where you chose the Phoenix. What? Oh, as Galen's eyes glow, I feel like I'm being pushed by some invisible force. I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Oh, right. Right, right, right. We we Okay, so you're telling me that for every realm or yeah, for every realm, I have to visit each Hikaru that that I have encountered in that realm. So it's not just that one Hikaru I encountered in in Sho's route at Veretis, but it's also the one where we had that battle with Illowis as well. So so every time he appears basically. Damn, okay. So with a start I wake up to sunlight streaming through the stained glass of a ballroom. Well, what the hell? Desperately I try to gather myself and understand my situation as quick as I can. I try to move but quickly realize I'm bound by chains to a chair. Yes. Fear moves through my body in waves, but after a brief look around, I confirm that there's no one around. Not really, not even Illowis. I would imagine that we would be in the, the the one situation where we're like gonna get tortured. Oh, what the hell? What has this what has this me been up to? I struggle against the chains, but they don't budge. You're back. <laughs> You're back. A voice in my head, one much like my own, talks back to me in my head. This is so weird. The other me, the one whose body I'm inhabiting. She's still aware? Yes, of course. It feels strange to have the other me still be aware of herself, myself, even with me being in control of the body. You remember me? Uh, yes. I'm sorry, I have to take over again, but what's going on? No answer. Has she, me, whatever, has, already, has she already gone dormant? I can't waste time, I shouldn't. Even though I know it's futile, I try to pull my, I try to pull my hands and feet out of my bindings. Illowis, where the hell are you? Suddenly, I hear footsteps, and I feel like my heart just drops right in my right to my stomach. I can't turn around, even if I tried, so I'm left wondering who it is. It's Illowis. Who did I fuck with to get into this situation? <laughs> who did I fuck with? Why can't I have gone to another world where me lives a where me lives a perfectly boring life and doesn't oh I don't know get fucking kidnapped? Well, too bad, girl. That's gonna happen quite often. Or whatever the situation is. Yeah, you're kidnapped. Hello, Eloise. We meet again. A man soon comes into my view. For a moment, I forget everything. The strange man is beautiful. There's no other way to put it. With his porcelain skin and sculpted face, I briefly, w I briefly wonder if he's not actually some Roman statue come to life. My stomach twists into knots. Well, he may be pretty, but he is not good news. He can't be another god, can he? Nope, he's a phoenix. 
Just who is he? Why am I here? And how do I get out? Illuis, a dark phoenix. Yes, my mind gives me one of the answers, at least. Yeah. I look at the man before me. He's holding an old-looking, intricately carved box in one hand and some sort of jar in the other, though I can't see what's in it. That shows ashes. <laughs> he sets it on a gold leaf and glass table that's placed near where I'm, sta where I'm sitting. Illua stands in front of me. Uh, Illua stands in front of it so that I can't get a better look at the items. Uh, he just stares at me, vaguely smiling about what about I don't know what. A number of emotions run through me: fear, frustration, helplessness, and despair. Most of all. I'm supposed to go find Hikaru, but how can I? Yeah, I need to get out of here somehow. Well, Hikaru's gonna show up anyways. Soon time. I tried to glare at Illuis with as much anger and hatred as I can muster. Seeing my expression, Illuis chuckles in amusement. He moves closer and leans down so that his face is right in front of mine. Hate me all you like, little butterfly. It won't change a thing. My face doesn't change, though, and Illuis walks, ba walks back to the table. With his back to me so that I can't see, he begins to take things out of the box he bought. He brought. Yeah. I bite my lips as I watch him work, my heart races a mile a minute, and my eyes start around the enormous ballroom. Crap, 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 what do I do? Well, Gallen! Gallen! Help! The plea for help tumbles out of my lips before I can truly think about it. Illuis turns back to me with a laugh. Help, there's no help for you. Nope. You're wrong. Illuis chokes on his words and stumbles back, grabbing onto the table in an attempt to steady himself. What's going on? A gallon's divine intervention. He screams and falls to his knees, knocking over everything from the table as he falls. The sound of shattering glass and the pain screams of Illuis blend into a perfect harmony. Chained up as I am, I can only watch in horror as his eyes turn green and burst into flame. Wow. The green flames spread over his body and with one last bright flash, he crumbles into green ash. Thanks, Galen. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, that was Galen's help. You wanted help, so there's your help. I hear a chuckle in my mind. You asked for my help, and so I gave it. So you try to get yourself out next time. <laughs> I knew it. Thanks. What? I... I stare down at the pile of green ashes. I can't quite decide if Galen's help was overkill or not. It, it, I'm pretty sure it is. But you know what? Knowing who Ili what Illuis is and who he is, it, it's, it's deserved. He got rid of him so easily, without even being in the same realm as the guy. I shiver and try to push away the thoughts of what would happen if I had to go against someone like him. Then I hope you don't, you don't girl, for your own health and safety. As I try to get up, I realize that my bindings still remain firmly in place. Wow, you can help me with Illuis, but you can't help me with this, Galen? Jesus. Hello? Any help with this? No answer. And he's like, nope, you used it. You used your one card. I sigh. I guess I'm supposed to get myself out of this somehow. With no, intim with no imminent threat in sight, I put all my focus towards my bindings. How should I do this? Melt it? Freeze it? I don't know. Hmm, no, I don't particularly feel like burning myself right now. Or, well, the least I can do for this me is not harm her body. Is not harm her body, yes. So I need something that would help me avoid bodily harm. Oh, I know. What? The metal around my wrist and feet slowly ices over, creaking as the ice slowly spreads. Oh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say freeze it. I did say freeze it, so yeah. It feels so cold against my skin, too cold, but I refuse to let it distract me. As the chains become completely enveloped in ice, I give it one good tug and they simply break away. There we go. Tisk, what? Oh, did he revive himself? I look up and slowly look around the ballroom. Oh, you, you, what are you doing here? As I turn to see her just standing there. Oh no, 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 this won't do. You don't understand. What? I was going to enjoy that. Enjoy what? Suneko, Suneka slowly walks up to Illuis' pile of ashes before turning around to face me. Do you even know what torture is? No, not really. Torture is being sealed away for centuries while those who murdered your loved one roam free. I don't know what the hell happened. Who murdered your love, roam free. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened to you, girl, but like, I'm sorry for your loss, but this is no way to like, you know, go about doing things, you know, to get over it. But I guess I'll just have to get my fun in some other way. I can see it. Galen, that bastard, he's helping you, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh, I know, I know. So surprising. So surprising. But do you really think you can hide something like that from a goddess like me? I didn't put it past you, but okay. I tried. 
No, no, I can see it. I can see the traces of chaos all around you. I can smell its stench. My natural enemy. Oh, what goddess are you to hate chaos? But I'm a flexible girl, you know? I go a, a go with the flow kind of girl. Times flow, that is. Times flow, that is. And so I'll weave a pretty picture using the chaos you've brought into this realm, Galen. Uh oh. With that, Suneko jumps and starts to spin around and round with her hands moving in a wave, laughing. You must be having so much fun. But she isn't looking at me. Oh. As she continues to spin, the fabric of time appears to loosen and unravel around us, and I tense. I stand ready to fight her, waiting for her to hit me with something. My mind races trying to c come up with something, anything that could help me prepare for her attack. But I can't predict her. No, I know I can't. Seneca stops, her outstretched hand pointing at Sho's urn. I dive towards it, but it's already too late. Oh, she burns it, and he's never gonna come back. Oh, what have I done? But anyway, this, this music is kind of loud. Just put down just a little. Okay, so a blinding white light fills my vision, and I'm flung backwards by a powerful blast of energy. My ears ring, I blink several times, trying to get my vision back. Ah! <gasps> Shit! As my vision returns, I see Sho standing before me, only he looks different. Oh shit. Everything in me screams that something is very wrong with Sho. I mean, no shit! He looks like he's about to fucking murder me. Sho has resurrected, but it's not him, not quite. Yes. Suneka laughs, momentarily my eyes fall on her. What happened? I blink and she's already gone, and she's left me to deal with this demonic looking Sho. Oh, leaving me with this Sho. He stands in place, quietly looking down at his hands. I hold my breath and watch him. Sho, he's... he's actually back. Yeah, but he's not... This isn't how he's supposed to look like. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean back? Where did he... he was dead. He was that urn. Tears spill forth from my eyes, even though I don't know why. It appears that my other self has managed to break through again. He was killed by Ilois, that urn. Those were his ashes. That woman brought him back somehow. But he looks so different. What did she do to him? Oh, maybe she forcibly resurrected him and he wasn't chosen by the, you know, the, the higher-ups to be resurrected back for his pure intentions of sacrifice and shit like that, right? Am I right? Seriously, what the hell have you guys been up to in this timeline? A lot. Her last words sadly fade away into the depths of my, depths of my mind, leaving me with no answer. Show? Are you okay? I try to call out to him despite every cell in my body screaming for me not to. Oh, you don't look so happy. I mean, <laughs> wordlessly he turns to me and tilts his head. There's no recognition in his eyes, no nothing. Only an endless darkness. Sho, what happened to you? Yeah, geez, Jesus. Dark flames gather at Sho's hands as so black that they don't look real. Uh, I can only duck out of the way when he starts to fling fireball after fireball at me. Hey man, I didn't do this! Okay, I might have done this to you because I chose to be- I chose to accept the consequences of fucking up the timelines and shit, but this- this is too much. Oh my god. My training with Hikaru kicks in and I dodge and roll, dancing out of the way of Sho's attacks. With each attack, he gets more accurate and more frequent, giving me no time to erect a barrier. I could attack, but it's Sho. No matter what Suneka did, it's still Sho. I can't- I don't want to hurt him. Right. When I dodge yet another of his fireballs, Sho screeches in rage, enrages and throws his hands up in the air. Uh, a ring of fire blazes up around me. Shit! Oh shit. It slowly, it slowly inches around me and I start to feel the intense heat of my skin. The intense heat on my skin. A sudden gust of wind twirls around me so quickly that the fire around me is out before I can even fully comprehend what happened. Is that Hikaru? That better be him. Yes! As the flames clear away, I see Hikaru standing before Sho. Are you alright? Yeah, but I feel like shit for what I did to Sho. Oh, the ball of sunshine, he did nothing wrong. He glances back at me just long enough to see me nod at him. Oh, and everybody else, yes. I catch the other three out of the corner of my eye. Did they all come to save me? Yes, that's what originally happened. Except for this. They can't have known that- They can't have known about Sho though. They- they did. Sho looks even angrier than before at having Hikaru stand between him and me. His eyes shine with pure rage. Takumi, grab Hana while I focus Sho's attack on myself. Attacks on myself. On it. Okay. No, wait. Takumi dives on me and rolls me 
Takumi dies on me and rolls with me on the ground just as Sho lands a hit to where I was a millisecond ago. Oh wow. The heat of the fireball is so intense that it melts the part of the marble where it hit. Wow. Shit, I would've been fucked. That. I don't even want to imagine what would ha what would have happened to me if I had been hit with that. So T Tatsuya summons a thick ice barrier around us. Oh, Tatsuya summons a thick ice barrier around all of us as we all watch Hikaru take on Sho. Okay, Sho yells in anger when he sees me hidden away by Tatsuya. But before he can attack me, Hikaru steps in the way, blocking me out of Sho's view. Okay, guys, much like before, Sho begins to throw fireball after fireball at Hikaru, who guides each one away with the flow of wind. Uh, Sho is unrelenting in his attacks, and it starts to look like Hikaru is tiring out. He touches his earring for a moment, but then hesitates. What? And in that moment of hesitation, one of Sho's attacks gets through. Uh-oh! Hikaru narrowly moves out of the way, and the fireball singes his jacket as it flies past him. Nice dodge, though. Lightning, lightning cuts through the ballroom, narrowly missing Sho. The sudden flash of light stops him in his attack. The light stops him in his tracks. Hikaru immediately takes the opportunity to send a powerful gust of wind at Sho, knocking Sho back to, into the wall. Okay, so he slides down dazed. Hikaru walks up to him, an orb of light in his hand, eyes silently threatening. Hikaru looks down at him with disgust in his eyes. What? Well, Sho lies totally still, and I can tell there must be a magic at work. Th there must be magic at work. Okay, so are you like hypnotizing him? If you manage to move, I will use this. What happened to you, Sho? Uh, I get it. It's obvious that you're a dark phoenix now, but how could you attack your friends? How the hell could you attack Hana? Uh, yeah. Sho, tell me. What happened? Hana? Uh, Sho looks confused, and I could swear I see something like rec recognition flash in his eyes, but that's gone as quick as it appears. Or is he under control- under Sineka's control somehow? I don't even know. Whatever happened, you clearly came back wrong. Yeah! <laughs> you did! Yup. I have to explain. This all happened because of Suneka. I yell from where I am with the other boys. Hikaru's eyes go wide as he turns to look at me. Suneka, how do you know that name? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to explain this all over again, huh? Are you... did you come back? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I have the earring. I can prove it's really me. But this, was, but this wasn't Sho's fault. I... I don't know what the hell is happening here or what a dark phoenix is, but she's the one who resurrected Sho. Yes. I... I think she messed him up somehow. What are you talking about, Hana? It's a long story. Suneka, what? The Weaver of Time did something to show? The Weaver of Time, so that's what she is. I don't answer, only biting my lip as I stare at Sho and Hikaru. So Hikaru looks exceptionally grim as he looks back at Sho, silence falls upon the room. If she's messed you up somehow, then maybe you'll... If you're truly a Dark Phoenix now, then you should be able to come back from death. Right? I was gonna say, like, no choice but to kill him, but either way, he can resurrect himself, so that's okay, right? <laughs> and maybe you'll come back right this time, hopefully. Professor, you don't mean- yeah, we gotta kill him. <laughs> no, you can't seriously be thinking of doing that. Well, I, I got to, man. I don't see any other way out of this. Hikaru snaps back. Yeah, Hikaru snaps back. Professor, we can't risk this. Let's not make a hasty decision now. What? Does he seriously mean to kill Sho? Yes, I can't have to- I can't have him kill someone because of what I bought into this timeline. I step out from behind the ice barrier and run to- and run to Hikaru. Wait, Hana, it's too dangerous. No, it's fine. I hear Takumi yell from behind me, but I ignore him and grab onto Hikaru's arms as I reach him. Let- let go, Hana. Yes. I empathetically shake my head. No way, I have no idea what a dark phoenix is or if Sho can resurrect by himself. But I can't let you do this. Not because of m what Suneka did. You need to find another way. I'm sure you can find another way. Sho struggles against whatever invisible force that's holding him down. Hikaru pushes me away as roughly that I end up falling. Ah, Hikaru pushes me so pushes me away so roughly that I end up falling. The orb of light that he's been holding on that he's been holding molds itself into a shape of a sword. No. Angry tears begin to flow down his face. I've made too many mistakes because of my weakness. I won't let any I won't let an out of control menace like him go around killing innocent people. But there might be a way to cure him. Don't let your past guilt decide this. At least give him a chance. Yeah, maybe he can come back by himself. I don't know. Maybe we could just talk to him. She's right. You can't just decide that show 
Wait, yeah, she's right. You can't just decide that show is beyond saving. Yeah, she's right. Why not capture him? Uh, at least let us do some research and see if we can reverse this before killing him. Alright, please, Hikaru. At least give him a chance. He's, a, he's an innocent in this. At least give him a chance. I think, right? He's an innocent in this. At least give him a chance. At least give him a chance. I don't want his death on my conscience. Come on. Fine. Yes. Tatsuya and Shinji, you want him alive? You figure out some way to contain him. Hikaru crouches down and touches the angry show's, for show's head. I'm just gonna pat you. I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? He closes his eyes, murmuring the word sleep. Show's eyes immediately roll back into his head and his body relaxes completely. He's out like a light. I sigh in relief, and the other three men immediately run to Sho's side. Uh, Hikaru walks over to me and helps me up off the ground. He mumbles. Sorry. No, it's fine. Is it true that Suneko was here? Are you really the Hana from before? Yes. I summon, her I summon Haruka's neck earring to the palm of my hand, and Hikaru picks it up, turning it this way and that. Mother. Yes. He seems wistful before giving it back to me. I'm glad. I didn't have to use mine. Hikaru reaches up and touches his matching earring. Uh, and I'm thankful you convinced me to get myself under control, Hana. Yes, but why did you come back? I need your soul, or a piece of it. Ah, I see. I still, feel, I still felt like something wasn't right. You need the other Hikaru's soul fragment, don't you? Yes. It seems like I wasn't able to give you all of it at last. It seems like I wasn't able to give, it, to give you all of it last time. Yes. I nod. Yes, and I promise I'll try to fix all this in return, hopefully. I mean, maybe, if it's possible, I'll find a way. Hikaru simply stares at me and then nods. If anyone can find a way, it's that annoying god. Ha, huh, annoying? I'm hurt, he thinks me so. <laughs> Gallon. I almost jump out of my skin at Gallon's sudden interjection, but manage to keep myself from visibly reacting. Alright, thank you. Hikaru repeats the soul fragment ritual the same as he did in the bar, and I quickly capture the shard in the box. With it safely inside and the lid firmly closed, I grip onto the box. So I did it. One more piece. Okay. So I looked down at Sho for a moment. I'm sorry this happened to you. I look back at Hikaru. Uh, good luck, Hikaru. Yes. Hikaru manages a curt nod back, looking down at Sho. I think you'll be able. To, I think you'll be the one who needs it the most. Dealing with gods is never easy or simple. Right. I figured. I can certainly see that. I can't say that I'm happy, but I'm thankful I could at the very least stop Sho's immediate death. Again. Take me away, old captain! Yes, I mumble under my breath and I once again feel a tug on my shoulder. And I'm off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. I'm off to see the wizard, I'm pulled backwards out of myself. Control. Guilt. Should I have controlled my guilt and emotions before making the decision to come to these timelines? Have I made a terrible mistake? I don't know. But we're back here now. And we, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna go big or go home. I find myself back in my own body, back in Gallon's realm, and I sigh. Welcome back. You've done well. Thank you. Okay. Well, is that am I done in Show's route? Am I done in Show's realm? Uh, indeed. Very well done. Okay. Am I am I finished? I don't feel like I've done well. Yeah, I kind of fucked up there. Well, nobody died. That's always a good sign to me. Oh, that's true. Gallon chuckles. Yes. Not permanently, at least. Yes. Yet. It's very true that Show could have been could have already been killed by by my darling. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Well, time isn't linear, of course, and if they can't figure out a way to save him, then killing him would be the only option. Alright. Uh, okay. But let's try to focus on your accomplishments. Okay. You've got another soul fragment. Isn't that great, Gallon? Isn't it? Gallon quietly nods, and but I can't even imagine what he might be thinking. That's true, I just... I don't know. I wonder if I jumped into this too fast. Well, you just kind of don't didn't have a choice. <laughs> I might have only been thinking of my own guilt. Maybe that's true. But I'm really grateful for it, as his mother. Maybe that makes me an evil goddess, but... Uh, I'm really thankful for what you're doing. Dang, at least someone appreciates my effort. To have your soul destroyed, there are not many worse fates. Hikaru doesn't deserve that. Yes, of course not. Thank you, that makes me feel a bit better. Um, I did have a question though. Yes. He, Hikaru's past. He mentioned past guilt. Do you know why? I think so. I've watched over Hikaru since the day he was born. He's encountered many hardships in trying to help people, trying to do the right thing. 
I was always so so proud though. My baby boy is so brave. Yes, I'm sure he is. Still, bravery isn't always enough. He's failed many times and made many more mistakes. Yes, as we have witnessed. For someone with Hikaru's personality, that means guilt plagues him every day in his every day of his life. I see. Okay. Any more than that, you should ask Hikaru himself when you save him. Yes. Yeah, you're right, thanks. Oh, what cosmos would you like to visit next? I, well, I guess I, as I said, I'm going in order, so, um, uh, where, am I, where am I for time? So I think this is good, I can leave this episode here, and in the next one we can definitely start on the next cosmos, which is the cosmos of the dragon, which is Tatsuya's route. So I feel like for each per episode, I'm gonna try to do one, because I feel like that would be more organized that way so yes so there we go wow we're going back time we're going back to all the routes that i didn't know we were gonna visit like i thought we were just done and over with them but no everything's connecting wow okay so yeah so we might have fucked up a little bit in the phoenix and chose route and got him you know resurrected the wrong way but i'm sure they'll work something out anyways until then you guys i will see you in the next episode of mystic destiny so bye